down. Jason Peterson and his crew have unloaded and moved plenty of pianos. You know, this piano probably won't fit in doors, average home doors. They've rolled them from one house to another, from Bravo. shops to homes, upstairs, through hallways, but they've never had a move like this. Some pianos go to concerts in parks, but this is the first time where we're actually putting them in a park and walking away from them. Once this piano and its parts are secure, it's time for the finishing touch, a sign calling out to the public, announcing a purpose. Play me, I'm yours. <laughs> The vision of British artist Luke Jerram, Play Me, I'm Yours, is a public art project which has been touring internationally since 2008. Paris, London, Geneva, Play Me, I'm Yours has installed more than 1,000 pianos at locations all around the world. For two weeks last summer, it was Omaha's turn to play host. Ten pianos, decorated by local artists, were placed in public areas all over the city. What we're hoping it does is to bring people from different walks of life, different eth ethnic and cultural backgrounds, and different age groups. Sally Ray works for Luke Jerram and says he came up with the idea while sitting in a laundromat after he noticed no one was talking to each other. He was wondering how he could break down those barriers, and he was thinking, well, if I put a piano in here, people would start playing it and, um, and start talking to each other. The idea to paint the pianos came later. And adds a different element to the project by involving the local art community. And it also makes them more approachable. I think if they just look like a, a normal piano, people might just think it's in the middle of being tran they're transported from one place to another. for sure how many people actually played the Omaha pianos, but they did play. It's exactly the outcome the Omaha Creative Institute hoped for when it began planning for the project almost two years ago. We are doing all of this because it is a great way to involve people in the community in the arts that may not be part of the art scene. just to show how ubiquitous and how important arts are to our world and to our lives. We have music, painting, dancing, singing, storytelling, writing, all connected together. For the hundreds, possibly thousands of people who experienced Play Me, I'm Yours in Omaha, the playing may have stopped. but the music continues. The project puts forth a concept we could all learn from. When people come together and share a piece of themselves, the harmony of life and art is a thing of beauty.